uh, hello, this is Stars Filth, and um, this is my pitch to TVS or Fox or whoever it is that owns Family Guy. Uh, this is my pitch for the new episode of Family Guy. Uh, so, yeah, Lois walks in, and um, Peter uh, says, Peter says, I need $28,000 for Overwatch coaching. For what? I decided I, 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 decided I, I wanted to hit Diamond. And then it uh, skipped to shit. And then uh, he, he buys the coaching, right? And he goes, family. Family. Wait. Everyone, I got oh, shit. Family, I have an announcement. I have brought uh, fucking all these. Set. And Lois is like peeved. She's really PO'd at this point. She's like, Peter, you can't buy all these coaching sessions. What? Uh, what? Uh, you can't afford this. And um, but Peter's like, ah, but uh, alas, I can. Uh, stars with uh, star stars with over oh fuck it went too far. Uh, stars with Overwatch coaching is on sale from November first until fucking uh uh December thirtieth thirty first. I mean, it's the uh end of your sale. All coaching sessions are thirty percent off. Join his Discord. And um yeah, then he he gets the sessions and he hits diamond or whatever. Yeah, that, that's the end of my pitch. Uh. Onto the video, I guess. Hey, <laughs> there we go. Discord on who you're focusing on, who your team's focusing on. Good shit. Um. Okay. Really. Uh, yeah. So you're like trying to win the fight. So why are you leaving? Right. Like. I mean, your Ana dies. Is this... No, this is somewhere. It's just like, you can kind of see that it's like you're offering yourself nothing. Alright. Uh, as Zen, like, especially when you know that they have a Tracer, it's kind of like, lethal to isolate yourself. And again, backing up doesn't make you any safer. Because you can see that it's like... With these like high mobility heroes, you're, they're just gonna approach you. They're they're gonna find ways to approach you from like whatever angle, like they can. Um, so I mean, if you don't have a healer, that doesn't mean you need to just like back off to fucking Narnia. Like yes, you can spam easier towards here, but it's like that also increases your chance of getting flanked and isolated, which is not good. Um, I, I would say if anything, one you, you realistically could just play right here. Right, because this is much likely, uh, much more likely to get help from your teammates. All right, it, like just, just they're they're gonna do damage on the tracer, and then it also affords you the opportunity to look for right clicks in here, right clicks out here, something like this. Right, because th the fight is being lost. All right, so you you might as well do something to win it. Okay. Again, keep in mind, right? You just just think about this, like for for future reference, it's like you're you're behind your Ana. Obviously, like nothing is going on right now, but it's like the 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 further you go back now, the further isolated you are, and the, the, you're not gonna get support from this Ana, who's gonna be focusing her attention primarily this way. It's much easier for you to be sticking like parallel or like to an extent even in front of her slightly. Or, like, I would honestly say, like, right here at the corner, because it's most likely where she's going to return to. And then from there, she's going to just, like, naturally have you in her line of sight with, like, how she's moving and how you're moving. All right? And that will, in turn, keep you alive longer because she's pocketing you, like, in a way. Or at least it's it's less of a chore for her to, to heal you here. Uh, okay, so... Harmony on the Zarya. No Discord out yet. Discord goes out on Zarya. What do you... You're just switching to whatever you're focusing. Ah. You see... Th th this is what I'm saying. You see how, like, being further far back doesn't really help you here? Like, if, you're, if your team's line is, like, here, you're back here. Realistically, Peel 
and, and this is gonna be controversial, but it's like, really, peel doesn't really exist. Like, your tanks don't really peel for you, that's not a thing. Um, unless if it's like a specifically, like, uh, like a set play you have or something. For example, if like the enemy team is diving you and you say, okay, we're gonna dive, or th we're gonna let them dive us and then we'll counter on them, like counter dive or whatever. Um, then sure, you might see your, your tanks support you, but your your Ana realistically, your, your second support is going to be the one that's like almost, like, they, they will be the person that's going to be the person that will uh, support you. If anything, another DPS might help you, um, but that's like, if they're around, you know, if they're not looking to like, uh, yeah, that's like if they're around. So, a lot of the times, backing off isn't the safest option. It's it's actually moving forward and actually being within the vicinity of your teammates that will actually be safer than um, isolating yourself like this. Fortunate. I think you could be moving forward and onto the cart. You, you definitely could be moving forward. You have this tendency to just like back off like you see your team is winning move forward discord shit and kill that shit right move forward and discord move forward and discord use the cart as cover right move towards here do something but it's like the again you, you back you're back behind and of course nobody's gonna help you here maybe you still would have died like even if you're here but it's more likely that if the tracer has to walk into you towards here that somebody on your team will see it and they'll deal with it, right? Even if you die, that that that's just it's just more likely that they'll deal with it. But it looks like they're gonna deal with it now. Yeah, they're gonna. Kind of forgot the tracer. He for gore. He for gore. What well, that's a poke. I mean, yeah, you wanted to put out some poke, but you can be moving forward. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's not so much that you even forgot the tracer here. It's like you're walking forward, and your team is moving forward to get kills. You need to continue walking forward to keep on putting the discords on the people that they want to kill and end this quick, right? And build up more all charge, right? You should be moving forward earlier, like pushing forward into them, like maybe around like this. This is probably the safest way to go about it, right? But like, you have to make that a forward movement, otherwise you're, you're never going to get support. Right, because like right here, the McCree could easily support you, right? Right here, the Ana could easily support you, especially if you were because you were ahead of her to begin with, right? You were ahead of her, so if you, if you just move forward and you keep on going for this, you're gonna have support and you're not gonna die. Chat's kind of like the Pokemon for the McCree. Ah, okay, gotcha, gotcha. In this team comp, you're the Tracer's easiest target. Exactly, exactly. But, like, if you were running, like, Zen Brig, and, like, the Brig was sticking with you, I could get why you'd want to, like, stick back a little bit more, but even then, it's, like, it's just not smart to be behind your supports as Zen. Like, like, especially, like, it, it would be okay if they didn't have a flanker. If they have a flanker, being behind like your team and like out of LOS is just a death sentence, so it's just not gonna work. I'd say even if there was a monkey or a ball, he'd get punished for playing so far back. Yeah, no, of course. Like, it, it, like it, if if there's like a flanker or even like the the dive, the the dive will be looking to like isolate people. So exactly like if there is like if you're leaving yourself isolated anybody who can access you with like any high mobility character really any high mobility character that like wants to like isolate people in some way they're gonna fuck you up so that's where it's like backing up further isn't exactly safer right. it's also just like the further back you are the harder it is to like land shots realistically it's like, so you might as well actually get closer, it's like there's, there's no real reason not to. Um, as long as your teammates are there to support you, you'll, you'll live. And here we go, 1v1, with the Tracer again, very cool. Uh, this sucks, because you don't want to be taking 1v1s of the Tracers. Um, you should probably be moving forward quicker. 
I would say instead of going around like this, you could go like right here, so then at least you afford yourself the chance of being able to like closer to your teammates, but instead you hang around back here again. Uh, again, you, you can also go like this and clear the high ground like this, right? But you're always leaving this gap behind you. The thing is, my ego says I want to take 1v1 as a tracer. So. Um, I mean, yeah, but your ego should also say that you want to win every duel with the tracer, so... You should look for an unfair advantage. Right. You have to kind of be like that like 14 year old on fucking Call of Duty who just sits there and like camps in the um, in the crates on uh, fucking what is that map shipment like a tiny ass little map and just sits there and he gets like a 40 he drops like a 40 bomb just fucking sitting there and like you can't be fair you you literally have to sit there and spawn camp them right you can't be fair. In this case, obviously you're not spawn camping, but it's like, you, you can't be fair. There's no room for being fair. Just don't make it fair. There, there's no reason to. I get the flame to team for no peel, or again, ego boost. Okay, so again, as we mentioned earlier, there's no such thing as, as peel. Like, that's not a thing. That, that That's not a thing. You're, you're not, you're, your tanks aren't going to turn around and peel for you, when in reality, your Zarya is much better suited to, like, peeling for, like, a, your, your main tank, right? Uh, providing bubbles for them. Um, it's extremely rare that they're gonna actually be able to provide bubbles for you and that's only if the enemy team actually takes the initiative first. Start moving forward. Walk forward. Walk forward. Walk forward. Walk forward. Walk forward. Walk forward. There we go. No. Yes. Okay. Go. 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 Yes. 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 The tracer's gone. Look at that. I mean, probably engaged at the wrong time, the tracer, but that's besides the point. It's just your your teammates are your friends. There we go. Look at that. You're closer to your team, and they help fuck them up. I mean, like. It's gonna be harder, and you see how like your tracer has to commit more like aggressively. I mean, ah, she went for the melee at the wrong time. But it's like, do you see how they can instantly turn around and try to help you? Let's say you die. Tracer probably dies too, right? It's just more likely, right? So this is better, right? Yes, you, you nearly got one clipped, which is unfortunate, but th th this is better, right? Now you're free to do whatever you want, but whatever. The point is, is that it's like, because you're in positions where people can support you, Tracer will inherently have to use more blinks to deal with like them as well. Right? Which makes it easier for you to deal with them too. Right? So 